It's beautiful here, steeped in history. It's a place for foodies, families, and fun. It's close to the ocean, has a historic downtown, and a great river walk. Welcome to Wilmington. Located in coastal southeastern North Carolina, Wilmington is set against the backdrop of the picturesque and historic Cape Fear River. Here are some of the best things to see and do during your time in Wilmington, North Carolina. Let's start with the Riverwalk, the city's number one tourist attraction. In 2014, USA Today named it the best American riverfront. It's a two-mile scenic walkway along the Cape Fear River, and it makes for a fantastic evening stroll. There are markets, shops, restaurants, and art galleries, along with pretty parks and a marina. The historic district, sprawling with over 230 blocks, is full of old buildings and cool architecture. It's one of the largest historic districts in the entire U.S., oozing with charm on its cobbled streets and tall old trees. There are over a dozen sites listed on the National Register of Historic Places in this area, from mansions to museums to churches and courthouses. The history is rich here. One of the best ways to both see and learn is through a tour with a horse-drawn carriage or a trolley car. They have a ghost tour, a historic home tour, a World War II heritage tour, and even tour apps that you can use as a self-guided tour. There are quite a few historic homes, like the Bellamy Mansion Museum, built in 1861 and owned by Dr. John Bellamy. You can explore the home, the gardens, and head out and even explore the two-story brick slave quarters. When you're walking downtown, you cannot miss the World War II battleship, the USS North Carolina. It's moored now in the river, and it's open for tours. When it was first commissioned in 1941, it was hailed as the world's greatest sea weapon. When it was decommissioned, the people of North Carolina saved it from becoming scrap metal. Today, there's a self-guided tour that showcases the nine levels of living and working spaces aboard the ship. It serves as a memorial for the 11,000 soldiers who died during the war. Wilmington was the first city in the U.S. to be designated as an American World War II heritage city. The Poplar Grove Plantation is part of the National Park Service's Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor and it's on the National Register of Historic Places. This residence was once a sweet potato and peanut plantation. It's interesting to learn about both the Gullah Geechee people and the peanut production that they did here. Another beautiful place to visit is the Airly Gardens. This enchanted garden is 67 acres with enormous live oak trees. They have meandering walking paths and colorful flowers. It is one of the South's most premier gardens. It's been featured in lots of movies and TV shows. The showstopper, though, is the Airly Oak, which started growing in 1545. It's 128 feet high, and there are also over 200 species of birds you can see here. You are just a short drive away from several beautiful beaches. The closest is Wrightsville Beach, which is just 10 miles from the historic district. Southern Living Magazine voted it one of the South's best beaches. It has five miles of wide sandy beaches and gorgeous crystal blue water. Two other options are the family-friendly Carolina Beach and the natural unspoiled Curie Beach. While you are down in the Curie Beach area, you should plan to also visit the Fort Fisher State Historic Site, which is one of the most influential battle sites of the Civil War. Actually, 
the largest land-sea battle of the Civil War was fought here. You can take a tour and see the reconstructed 32-pound seacoast gun at Shepherd's Battery. Jungle Rapids Family Fun Park is a water and fun park all in one. There are twisting water slides, a lazy river, a wave pool, go-karts, bowling, mini golf, climbing walls, rides, and laser tag. It's a fantastic place for your kids to burn some energy and also have a great time doing it. Wilmington also has some outstanding museums. The Cape Fear Museum of History and Science has an oversized 20 foot tall giant ground sloth skeleton at its entrance. It's ready to welcome you in. The Wilmington Railroad Museum has model trains and a steam locomotive that's 100 years old. There's also a children's museum and the Cameron Art Museum. And we certainly can't forget about the food. It's called Coastal Fair with a Southern Flair. Wilmington is rising in the ranks for foodies, with USA Today naming it the number one best al fresco dining neighborhood. In just the River District, there are over 40 locally owned restaurants, cafes, and pubs. And if you're strolling through Wilmington and it feels uncannily familiar, it's because you may have spent some time here before while watching some popular TV shows and movies. Wilmington served as the fictional town of both Capeside for Dawson's Creek and Tree Hill for One Tree Hill, as well as the set for many, many movies. In fact, Wilmington has the largest domestic TV and movie production facility outside of California. Wilmington offers southern charm, seaside splendor, and a dazzling downtown. Add to that all of the historical places you can explore and learn about, and you have the makings of quite a vacation. Thanks for watching Shore Me Some More. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story about the shores, outdoors, and more.